Hey everybody, this is Kwabana from OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off a new feature of OpenMV IDE, which lets you uh, see what your OpenMV cam sees uh, through opening custom terminal windows via the command line. We've added this feature because a lot of folks have asked for a version of OpenMV IDE, which they can use for demo purposes, um, that doesn't have any of the IDE functions and terminal stuff built into it. Um, anyway, so here's how to do that. The first thing you need to do is add the print image dot compressed for IDE function call to your script. This is effectively going to take care of um, what OpenMV IDE does normally, which is it compresses, uh, JPEG compresses images in the background on your OpenMV cam and then streams that to itself. Um, so when you're using the, uh, the new feature, we don't, that doesn't happen automatically anymore. You're going to need to explicitly tell the OpenMV cam to send those images. Um, so the way you do that is you just call the uh, image.compressorID function. This is going to JPEG compress the uh, current image, and then it's also going to uh, rearrange the bytes in that JPEG compressed image such that they can't be confused with characters while being streamed over a serial channel if any um, bytes are dropped and so on and so forth. Um, the final end equals null argument effectively just suppresses the new line that print will spit out normally. Um, anyway, that's all you have to add to your script. And once you do that, you can now stream images over your serial port to OpenMV IDE. So for the regular debug buffer, uh, well, debug view, nothing really changes. The uh, frame rate will drop a little bit because you're doing two JPEG compresses versus one per frame. But other than that, you can still debug your system pretty easily and see what's going on. Now the real nice feature now is once you save the script to your OpenMV cam and then reset your OpenMV cam, you're going to be able to see what your OpenMV cam sees in real time. So let's go to Open Terminal and just show off a picture of that. So you can see right here, um, we're able to see what the OpenMV cam sees and we didn't have to run any code. Now let me wait a sec, uh, a file browser is going to pop up. There it goes. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're, we're just running, we have a script here that's just running and streaming data to the computer. Um, and the image is coming through that compressed for IDE function call. Note this is a standard um, open serial terminal view right here. So we can get the, you know, we got the color space browser down there and the serial terminal. But you can hide these for demo purposes if you don't want folks seeing it. Um, anyway, so the real kicker feature now is you can invoke this via the command line. So if we just pass a command line argument, open serial terminal, we're going to pass then OpenMV IDE, a COM port or what have you, and a baud rate. Um, once we do that, the same terminal window pops up. And we're then able to invoke this via the command line now. Um, anyway, so the big feature of this is going to be for all the, uh, for Raspberry Pi, for Linux, for Windows, for Mac, you can now view what the OpenMV cam sees about the IDE, and this lets you use OpenMV IDE now as a um, as the application you can distribute to folks, and with a little bit of wrapping of the uh, system with some command line scripts, um, you can easily have debug windows for your OpenMV cams popping up. Uh, note that we also support the other open terminal windows, so you can open a TCP port and a UDP port for um, those type of connections over the internet. Um, other than that, that's about all. That's about it. Um, oh, oh, and you do have the new record feature that's coming in for OpenMV IDE built into every one of these terminals. So if you want to record a video, you totally can. And OpenMV IDE will ask you to save that somewhere and so on and so forth. All right. Uh, that's all, folks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.